I'm coming up to the end of an outside corner joint here and I'm about to taper down the amperage and leave the rod in the puddle a little bit toward the end right there. Then back up as I let off the foot pedal. And that's what works for me. And I use a Jazzy 10 cup for that. Here's a quick one minute tip on arc length. Using too long an arc does not take advantage of the precision of TIG welding. It's more like oxyfuel or gas welding. If you use a long arc, the rod blobs up and just falls in there and it's a very uneven puddle. You tighten the arc up, don't do anything different, keep amperage the same and everything, just tighten the arc up, things go like they should go. Nice and a lot more precision. That was a clear eight cup for that. So let's take that tight arc concept and do this outside corner joint on cold rolled steel. This is a number 12 Furic ceramic cup. Nice tight arc length using just enough amperage so that that puddle just barely rolls that corner over. I'm keeping the hot tip of that rod shielded in the argon. And the combination of the right travel speed using that Furic Ceramic 12 and having the piece clamped down to some chill bars, it gave me a silver weld. No discoloration whatsoever. A little discoloration is no problem on steel, but it is on some metals. Let's take a look at titanium now. This is a 40 thousandths thick, one millimeter titanium butt joint. Now, I know not everybody will ever need to weld titanium, but there's a lot to be learned here. So I'm going to slow this down to 50% speed, talk quickly about some of the main points. Number one, you need to make sure to keep the hot tip of that rod shielded within that argon. So you don't want to come very far away from the arc. Your arc length should be equal to or less than the electrode diameter. Now the cup makes a big difference, but so does the fixture. So if you set the chill bars pretty close, it pulls a lot of heat out. That holds true with no matter what you're doing, whether it's stainless steel or Inconel or whatever. I want to take a minute and show you some of the changes we've made to one of our most popular TIG kits. We're trying to add value without adding cost. It's the Weldmonger Furic Arsenal kit, a very popular kit. This one is showing the, the one for 17, 18, and 26 style torches. We also have them for 920 style torches. Let's take a quick look at the old version. It's Furic cups, starting with the 8 and going all the way up to the BBW, the 8, 10, to 12 ceramic, and the BBW. But what we've done is we've added a 4 through 8 standard ceramic cup to make this kit even more useful for most every situation. The large furic cups are, are great for stainless, inconel, titanium, but sometimes you don't need all that gas and you don't want to use all that gas if it's a Sunday afternoon and the welding stores are closed. So we, we're, we got you covered here going all the way down to a number four cup. This 332nd furic gas lens works with all these cups. So let's take a look at swapping out the normal hardware, the stuff that comes with most torches with the furic arsenal kit hardware. One benefit that you notice right away is it just shrinks the overall size of the torch. It just kind of makes it more maneuverable, makes it be able to reach into tighter spots. And the clear cup that comes with it, the number eight cup, really lights things up. I started using clear cups strictly to film. I was kind of skeptical, but I, I saw right away they really helped me see better. The number eight clear cup is good for AC and DC. This is a little plate with a bead on plate here with I've, I've scribed lines about an eighth of an inch apart just so you can see the detail. See how well this cup lights things up. It really helps. The Ceramic Jazzy 10 is a DC cup. Great for stainless steel, chromoly, carbon steel, tool steel, even some light titanium work. This is some 4130 chromoly and this is the second pass. I'm doing a little pedal pumping here. But another benefit of a cup like this is if you get a really good shielded first pass, the second pass just goes in a whole lot better. If you need a little bit more shielding with a little longer stick out, the Ceramic 12 is a good choice. Here's some stainless steel 120 wall tubing. With stainless steel, just a little tip, you want to get that puddle started quickly, get moving quickly to kind of outrun the heat. You don't always just want to weld with less amperage. Sometimes hotter and faster is better. The clear BBW is a great cup for titanium. 
The bigger the cup, generally speaking, the more gas flow it requires. And this one might require as much as 35 or 40 CFH, but when you're welding titanium, the little extra argon is just cost of doing business. It's, it's necessary. It comes with the long cap, the medium cap, and the short button cap. Now, where would you want to use these cups? Well, again, if it's a Sunday afternoon and your your your, your tank is down to about two or three hundred, and you got a job you need to get out, and it, the job doesn't really require super excellent shielding, a four or a five cup makes sense. It also makes sense for flash tacking. You don't waste a lot of gas while you're just doing a, a little quick burst tack on some sheet metal corner joints. There's a purpose for every cup. You know, one size does not fit all. The number five cup is great for aluminum butt joints, can actually help with penetration by limiting that cleaning action and kind of focusing the energy on the puddle. Another reason to have a good assortment of cups is sometimes you might get into a situation like this where you're walking the cup on a small fillet weld. You don't want to use a whole bunch of extra gas. It doesn't require it. When you've got that cup right up, right up against the metal like that, it requires a little bit less gas flow than it does if you've got a long stick out and, and freehanding it. A number six is also a really good all-around cup for aluminum. This is an outside corner joint on eighth inch thick material. If you need a little longer stick out than you can get with the six, take it up to a number seven, just increase the argon flow. About two and a half CFH per cup size gets you right in the ballpark, usually. And then there's the number eight, which is kind of a really good all-around cup for stainless sand, chromoly, and carbon steel. This little demonstration really shows the difference between the standard hardware that comes with a TIG torch as opposed to a stubby gas lens. I'm using the same long stick out here. It's a half inch stick out. I'm going to use the same stick out on all these cups. This is sped up 4x, but you can see it's just kind of squiggly. I'm losing shielding at that stick out at about 20 CFH. Not very good for stainless steel. Now here I'm using the same exact stick out with the same flow rate with a stubby gas lens. And it's like somebody flipped the switch on. Now all of a sudden it's cleaned up. Now if I put the Jazzy 10 on there with that secondary diffuser, I'm going to get a little bit better shielding. Not like night and day here, but it's still, it's even better. And if I went up to a number 12, it would improve a little bit more. It just depends on what you need and how much gas you want to use. Well, that is a quick rundown on our new improved arsenal kit. Again, this is the kit for the 17, 18, 26 style. We also have one for 920 style torches. Same cups, just different mounting hardware. If you're still using the old hardware that came with your torch, you're going to notice a huge difference here on steel and stainless steels. If you want to get a closer look, just go to weldmonger.com. Go up to TIG Welding Accessories and then drop down and over here to Furic Arsenal Kits and there they are for the 17, 18, 26 as well as for the 920. Once you open that page up, there's a few other images that kind of clear things up for you and show you what's inside the kit, all the contents and inside the tray right there. And then there's another piece of information here to help you make sure you're getting the right one for your torch. And then all you got to do is add it to the cart.